Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. And in today's video, we are going to go behind the illustration. This is the second in a series of tutorials that I'm doing where I show you how I created an illustration. So I go deep dive into it and show you my tips, tricks, and techniques. And so that way you can learn a little something new and you might be able to use them in your own illustrations. So let's get into it. Today's, um, this illustration I did around the holidays and I was inspired by this, I, I love jewelry and uh, not for myself, I usually keep it pretty simple, but I'm super inspired by stones, jewelry, anything that shines and shimmers. I just love. So I saw this on Instagram. This was a, a company, I believe it's called Goosens and it's like a fine uh, haute joyerie or jewelry. And this series of jewels was interesting to me. It was called their Byzantine collection. And I just saw the, the picture, if you look over here on the left, um, these were the source images from the collection. And I loved the um, warm and cool colors together, but they were a bit desaturated. And I thought that was really pretty. Um, the gold stone with the gold and then that gray blue, and then with the touches of pearl, I just thought was gorgeous and just absolutely like, I was like, okay, I'm inspired. And I thought I could play with a little bit with the, um, the warm versus cool. So I did play with that in my illustration as well. And you've got, um, if you look over here, you've got the warm side of it going into the cool side. So I love playing with those contrasts. And I just thought it was so, so subtle and so cool. So I had a little fun. And I started playing with it and then I realized once once I got into it, I realized that it would really make the jewelry pop with because it's so light, it's so subtle. I think it would be more impactful in a dark background. So I played with that. And then the collection was called Venise. And I was, you know, it was like, and it was inspired by Byzantine jewelry, like Venetian, Venetian style from that era. And you can totally see it over here on the left side, the, the shapes and stuff. Um, yeah, it's absolutely makes sense. So I thought about doing like a background and I went um, onto Unsplash and I found a photo of Venice and I thought, okay, I can probably use this. Um, and so let's start at the back. So I'm going to start taking things, um, hiding things here. Let me go to auto select groups over here. This is helpful. So there's that. Let's start peeling back the layers. So above this background layer, that impressionist sort of background layer. Um, let me hold on one second. I'm going to take the JPEG here so we can have a reference here. I'm going to pop this over here as well. There we go. So you can kind of see what it looked like as I peel back the layers. So this was, I think, some gold. Okay. So this, as you can see here, I'm going to take that off. This was something that really added that nice texture and I feel it makes it less like digital looking. So I just added, this is a, um, a pattern fill using like a digital, like a paper, paper texture. And I use the same one, except I put one on vivid light on a low, very low opacity and one on linear burn. They're both about 10% opacity. And I find it added a really nice texture, but I could still see everything and it didn't darken the overall image or anything like that. So let's take that off. I'm going to hide this here and hide this and you can see where I started. Now looking at this, you might think, um, oh, she has a little drawing ability. You know, like you could actually, I'm not saying it's like perfect, but you could think that I actually painted this or something, you know, in an impressionist style. But alas, I did not, I did no such thing because I do not have that kind of time. So I used my Instapressionist technique, um, which I kind of pioneered and I'll have the link down below. Um, and I actually collaborated with Adobe so you can download a sample set of those brushes and try out that technique for yourself. 
but it is a way for you to take a photo and paint over it and it uses the um, the color distribution of the photo and you can turn it into basically an impressionistic painting. So I started off here, you can see the background and you can see that I had put some gold over my blue. So we've got that transition from gold into the blue here. So we've got the warm into the cool. And then I turned my images, um, let me turn off this, there's the blue. There you can see the, the photos. So I overlaid them and I put them on a light opacity. I turned them black and white and overlaid them. Um, they're just normal at a very light opacity. And that served as my background. And then I'm gonna put this here so you can see, I left that on there because that holds that, um, even my painting uh, over it, it, I still need the image behind it. So you can see my technique and you can see how it turned it into like an impressionist painting. And then um, I'll link down below if you need to look more into that, um, that technique. And then here is the other side. And it's not all perfect, it's not all done because some of it's hidden by the, the jewels so I didn't need to do it. So here you've got the gold part of it. And then also if you'll notice, I added some a little highlight in the little brush strokes there to have that shimmering gold like you see here. And that's just one of my 24 karat gold layer styles. So there's the gold background stuff, uh, size stuff, whatever. <laughs> and then I had just um, added some color blending brush strokes. I, you can see it here, right here. I just, you know, I wanted to add something in this little area. So these are using my modern impressionist brushes, which are my color blending brushes. And I sampled colors directly from these images actually. And I'll go more into that in a little bit because we're gonna go over that. And then, then here we'll put that back on. We've got our texture layer. So that's the background, that's done. And when you look at it over here, you could say, oh, she like painted this or something, but no. I used a photo and it's magic. So that's that. And then here is all the part above. So that's that. One little thing that I'm gonna go get out of the way first while I'm thinking about it is I titled this L'Amour à Venise, like Love in Venice. And I don't know if that was the actual name of the jewelry or just I thought it was cool. But as you can see here, it looks like a little hand lettered. And I am not a hand letter. But um, you can see here, it's the, it's not quite perfect. But because I'm not a letter, the thing is, is if I would use a font in this illustration, it would feel like a font, you know, it just, it would be too perfect. So what I did when I did this little um, lettering is what I do in a lot of things is I simply, let's hear, do I, mm -mm, okay, okay, no. I simply uh, put a font as my guide underneath. I think I have part of it here. So I just put a font underneath as my guide and just take a very small um, brush. In this case, I use one of my brushwork brushes and just drew over it but just the fact of me drawing over it gives it a more hand lettered feel and that's how i made that because i'm not a really a lettering artist per se so but it, you can just tell the difference because if i just type in a font or add some texture to it you're going to just feel it so i would rather take my time and like just draw over the font <clears throat> and use a font as my guide and then it will look nice and then it will look like more um i don't know just it'll it'll contribute to the overall look because you will feel if it's a font. So that is that. So then we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes here. Um, first off, if you see these little edges here, let's go to auto select layer. So the edges are quite simply my 24 karat brush collection. 
and those are mixer brushes where they make really cool gold brush strokes and you can make it look like you see here like um uh, gold leaf effect. So I've got a whole bunch of different brushes and I simply painted a brush stroke around the edges so you could feel that. Didn't want it to be perfect so you know it's got varying textures and everything. But that was simply the 24 karat gold brushes. And now let's talk about the stones here in the center. So when I am, these are mainly made with my Modern Impressionist brushes. And my Modern Impressionist brushes, most of you guys are familiar with them, they are color blending brushes. And you can use, basically, they're specially designed so that when you use these pattern stamp tool and use one of those brushes, when you paint a stroke, all the colors that come out of the stroke are the colors that are in your pattern. And so it's really an amazing technique. Um, pretty much everyone who follows me is very familiar with it. And what I do to make my color palettes is I simply select straight from the images. So we are painting with images. So I made a whole, um, let's go over to my patterns here. I made a whole uh, palette here of all these um, colors that I sampled directly from the images. So I went over here and then I just made a selection and hit Command M. I think that's my keyboard shortcut for defining a pattern. And so I made all these little different patterns in different areas of the image to get all the blues, all the golds, and just, and even like the pearls. And you can just see them over here. So when I paint in with my Photoshop brushes, it's going to paint the colors from that photo. So there's no easier way to um, paint your image than to paint with the colors directly from the photo. So that was it. And let's just go here. Um, oh, you know what? I think I have them saved as a smart object, which is nice. Let's click into here. Okay, so here's one. This is nice because it gives a little close up here. It's a lot of layers, um, but basically I just, you know, you have this thing and I just layered, layered different brush strokes and I grabbed like a different brush and I would grab a slightly different blue. I'd put this, you know, like one is the background, excuse me, one is a background and then I add some more strokes over it and I'd use a softer brush, but I just layered those brush strokes on top of the clipping mask until I made something like this. And I love it because it's got the exact same colors, you know, of the the things of these, of the stones, but it's abs more abstracted and it doesn't look perfect, but it looks really cool. And for these little iridescent, um, the pearls on the outside, I simply used my mixer brush and I think I might have made a little bit of a, I made a base and then I painted over them with my, with my pearls, but let's pull it back here. So I made a base with just a modern impressionist brush using one of my colors that I, it doesn't really matter because we painted over it. So then I used a, the same thing, a modern impressionist brush and I had sampled the colors like directly from these pearls over here. So you can see over here, I have those. And then I added, this was the main, actually I ended up covering those pretty much, but I took the opacity down to 50, 58. So this is my, this was the main part of those, is the mixer brush. This is from one of my wet paint brushes. And I didn't sample the pearls from this image. What I did was in my wet paint mixer brush collection, I had created some of these iridescent palettes and they're simply like, re I remixed some images and here's a little palette that I made of pearls. So I used one of my mixer brushes, my smooth mixer brushes. I sampled from here, I sampled from the images of pearls and then I painted over it and you get these beautiful pearlescent strokes. So easy peasy. 
And then I think I added again, see how they're a little bit brighter? I added a little, it's the same stroke, but I just added a little highlight in the center and I set the mode to overlay. So then you get that extra um, pop of dimension because you see there's the pearlescent stroke, but there I added that overlay in the center and it really makes it pop. And then around the edges here, I just used 24 karat gold brushes. I sized them down and just played around and that's it. Um, let's see here, don't save that. Let's go back to my thing. So, you know, I, that's how we did the circle ones. And we did the, for this part, I did the exact same thing. Let's zoom in. I layered some of the brush strokes, Modern Impressionist. It's a simple shape, so anybody can draw that. I put uh, 24 karat gold brushes around the side. Uh, you can see some of the 24 karat gold brush strokes. Even these little dots here, those added a real nice pop. Those are from my 24 karat gold collection. Let's just zoom in here. So you see that texture, that gorgeous texture, all that, it's all sampled from photos. So we are really painting with photos here. And go down here and you got the same thing. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, we used my Instapressionist technique for the background. We used my 24 karat gold uh, um, metallic brushes for all these little metallic parts, all the gold. I used my wet paint brushes for the pearls. And I used my modern impressionist brushes for the stones. And then, you know, like layered them up. And I think I put a couple layers on like overlay. So there's a little glow and stuff. I um, traced over a font for my thing. And I think it turned out really nice. I'm happy with that. And I, and I love, you know, mixing up techniques and making something that looks like it could have taken a lot of time, but it really did not. I think I did this in a, a few hours in the morning. By the time I researched, worked out kind of an idea in my head. And of course, it always changes as I'm going. And yeah, so that's it. Hopefully you guys have some um, uh, insights and it might help you more in your illustration work. And then, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know down below. And I will have the links to the techniques and the tools that I used. And don't forget, um, you can go over to Adobe and download uh, the Instapressionist brushes for free. You can even download the samples of the Modern Impressionist brushes on Adobe's website. And then um, I have on my website, oof, I keep touching this table. On my website, you can download the 20, uh, a 24 karat gold brush for free. And what else? And even a mixer brush, I believe. So you can get your download on and hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And let me, let me know more if there's anything in particular you would like to see.